you think I'd be good at this, but I, I have no clue. I still think it's tracheotomy, but that makes no sense. Is there any way we can call the doctor? I can't read the signature either, and there's no phone number. How can you not write down a phone number, a pager number, something? I hate handwritten numbers. Yeah. hate them. Rhinoplasty. No. See, that's a JY at the end. Or is that GY? You know, I used to have a supervisor that made his ends like that. Hypnotherapy. What? Just trying to help. Well, either way, we need to decipher what's in these orders. We can't wait much longer. The healthcare information system is going to really make it possible to bring all kinds of information together. I could see the radiographs that the radiologist has produced. I'd be able to see echocardiograms that the cardiologist might have obtained. I could obtain pharmacy information. I'm going to be able to see that in my office. I'll be able to see that when I'm taking care of a child on a different floor. And when I get called about that child at 2 in the morning, I can go to my own computer in my home and look at it in my pajamas. Everyone from physical therapy to even our nursing assistants to our billing department, everyone would share that information. If a physician is putting an order directly into a computer system, for example, what's going to occur is it gets written once. The lesser number of times if you have to make transfers of information, uh, the less likely there is to be errors and the safer the patient care can be. At first glance, it really looks like it's just another piece of software that I'm going to have to learn to use. But when you take another look at it, really what it is is a way to encapsulate or contain all the patient care information that the healthcare team is gathering 24 hours a day, every day a child's here. I think it's important to have the information on your patient right at your fingertips so that you can quickly retrieve information at a few clicks of a button on the computer and retrieve lab results, diagnostic tests, um, vital signs at the bedside. The reason why we need information readily available to us is because we need to make decisions at the moment, at the time that we need it. Especially when a kid is critically ill in the ICU areas or the neonatal areas, they don't have time to be searching, was this test already done? I was really fortunate to work at one hospital that had a really great computerized system. That Where I went in, I was actually able to get literally a 20-minute orientation to the system. And then right away, I was able to go into the computer charting with very little difficulty. As we begin, what we're saying as a goal is that we want an electronic record that comprises and reflects care that happens in the inpatient arena that includes uh, operating rooms as well as intensive care units. It includes, though, also the emergency center, the ambulatory care clinics, also out in uh, the pediatrics associates offices and home health. What we're interested in here is an integrated approach. And that integrated approach is only now beginning to become available. But we would like to be at the forefront of that. When we decide we're going to do something, we get about it and do it well. Uh, nonetheless, a project this complicated um, and involved will take some time. Going forward past selection, there's going to be group after group after group of people together again thinking about what's the best way to provide care and so in some ways this is a project sadly that never ends. Better to say that what it does is grow and get better and better as we go forward. There have been literally hundreds and hundreds of employees and physicians who have had input into the selection of our new healthcare information system and what it will be designed to accomplish uh, for Texas Children's Hospital.